All right, so welcome to this video on attributes with blocks. So what are attributes? Well, attributes are, are really text that can vary per block instance. So I've got this toilet here, and what I wanna do is I wanna attach some information, you know, maybe the manufacturer, maybe the capacity, maybe a hyperlink, whatever information I want, but I wanna be able to use the same block um, you know, instance in multiple locations, but have different information tagged to it. So it's kind of like metadata associated with, with the block. So right now there's no block, it's just geometry. So I'm gonna go to the insert tab. And from the insert tab here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a attribute. So I'm actually going to define an attribute. Now, as you can see here, I've got quite a few options here. So I'm gonna lock the position on this first one, which means that um, I won't be able to move it in context with, with you know, separate from the block. It's gonna stay in the same position and move with the block. Now, constant's just a way to have uh, a fixed value and you're saying, well, why would I want that? Well, one of the benefits of using attributes is how easy it is to extract data. You know, if I wanna find out how many toilets I have in a drawing and how many are American Standard, how many are Moen, um, I can quickly find that. So it's kind of where the, the constant one comes from. So let's just call this manufacturer. Now the tag is kind of like the variable name, can't have spaces, can't have special characters. It's like you're defining the, the parameter that you wanna use here. Now the prompt is a little bit different. Um, so I can actually come in here and, and be a little bit more specific about what I want to see. Now, if I have a standard, um, you know, a default that I want here, so maybe we always use American standard as our toilets, I'm gonna set that as, as the default. Now I can see the justification here, I can see the textile that it's gonna use, and I'm gonna specify a height here of, of one inch, and I'm gonna click OK to come and drop that in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this um, you know, kind of in, in, the, in the middle here. Um, so let's just position that. Now, if I wanna make a change to this, what I can do is I can double click on it and notice that I can actually change the tag, the prompt and the default. Now, if I wanna do something else with it a little bit more, I'm gonna go into the properties and with the properties, this is where I can come in here and I can make changes to it. So notice I still can make changes to the tag. I can change, you know, the style. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make this middle justified and I'm gonna change the height here by a little bit, and I'm now a little bit happier about how this is set up. I'm also gonna come in here, I'm gonna enable my midpoint object snap because I wanna take this and I want to object snap track this and I'm gonna position this um, right in the middle of it. Okay, so now I've got that manufacturer and the manufacturer is gonna show up. Let's go define another attribute. Now, I'm still specifying this on screen, but notice I could align this right below the previous one. So it takes away kind of all the, the guesswork. I don't need to go in there and line it. I can just align it um, below it. Now in this case, I'm not gonna lock the position. And what I could do here is I could actually have it be verify. So what this does will actually prompt you twice. Now this one's kind of a little bit old school uh, because you know you gotta remember at one time everything was command line driven. So you might have you, know, you had to go through and there was 12 attributes and you had to go line by line by line through the command line. Well, the verify one would just make it come back up again. So it was kind of like a double check on that. You can see the preset one here is, you know, sets an attribute to its default value when insert it. So it, it's kind of redundant with the whole default value, but again, kind of an old school position there. So in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to put, the tag is going to be capacity and the prompt is going to be capacity. And I'm thinking right now that I don't remember uh, how big a toilet is. So let's just go one, one liter is what we're going to do on that. Notice I turned off the lock position. I'm going to click OK and notice how it drops it right below. Okay, so now we got the manufacturer and we got the capacity. Let's do one more. I'm going to do one more. And what I'm going to do is actually make it an invisible multi-lined property. So we're not gonna see what's inserted, but it'll be there. So it's invisible metadata that we could still extract and we can still manipulate, so it's still there. And I'm actually gonna do a multi-line. So let's just call this goal comments and the prompt is, you know, uh, additional things to say. And I'm going to insert this one and I'm gonna click okay. And I'm just gonna position it over here to the side. Okay, so I've positioned that in there, it's multi-line text. Let's do one more. So one more here. Again, I'm gonna to lock the to position. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and notice I can actually insert a field. 
So what I want to do is I'm going to insert, I, I don't know, let's, let's insert, what should we insert here? Something that we're going to see. Nah, there's nothing really here that's going to go with, with the, uh, with the block. So let's just pull out the, let's pull out the last save by. So I'm going to pull out last save by and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to drop that in there. So this is going to be last saved by and again it's just going to be last saved by. Okay, so let's just make that visible because it doesn't really apply to what we're doing here and I'm just going to drop that in there. Okay, so I've put in my information that I want to see. Now they will take on the properties you know, of the layer that's placed on because everything's going to end up like a block. So let's create the block here. And what I'm going to make sure of is that I actually pick, um, you know, I'm going to pick the, the insertion point here. But when I select my objects, I'm going to make sure I select the geometry and the attribute definition. So the attribute definitions do not do anything unless they're part of the block. So I'm going to click OK, and I am going to convert this to a block. So the minute I do that, notice that immediately I get the attribute um, dialog here. So I can see the last save by. You know, do I have anything else to say? And you know, I can say, you know, yeah, I, uh, I got a lot to say. And I'll click OK to populate that. You can see the capacity of the manufacturer. So let's click OK, and I can see that this block has been created and the information's in there. Now let's just save the drawing. So I'm just going to save the drawing. Yeah, this is fine. Let's, uh, let's call this uh, attributes. And let's come in here and let's double click on this and notice that the last save by since it's tagged to a field has automatically updated um, to me right so you can see that you know I can actually modify that and actually insert a field if I want to but just to show you that the fields work in here as well okay well let's let's insert another one so let's go insert and we're gonna insert my toilet and what I'm gonna do is drop it right beside and what I'm going to say in this case is this is going to be a 1.5 liter and this is going to be a Moen. So I'm going to click OK and notice that we have the same block definition side by side, but notice that the text can vary from one to another. So I could take this and do the same thing. So, or let's do a copy selection. Let's take a copy of this. And again, what I can do is double click on here, just a double click. Um, we'll leave this as Moen, but we're going to say that this is a 5 liter. Um, one here. So we'll click OK and we can see that's been populated. So again, three of the same block instances, um, but we've got different text. Now remember I locked one and I didn't lock the other one. So I mean the attributes are going to move with the block. That's, that's guaranteed. But notice that I can take the capacity and I can actually move the capacity to wherever I want. Why? Because I did not lock that one when I created the attribute. So I can take this and I can move this around. I can take this over here um, because I didn't lock that as I positioned it. So that's how you can go in there and you create those attributes. Basically define the attributes, um, you know, specify where you want them to go, make them part of your block, and then you'll get that text as you're creating it.